Welcome to the Art Classroom. In the past, lengthy demonstrations have been given to show students how to properly use and care for supplies in the Art Classroom. Creating a video allows me to convey this information more concisely, which allows more time to actually creating art during Art Class. With that said, let's get to it. The vast majority of materials are located in the cabinets in the corner of the room. Each drawer is labeled and really only needs basic care to keep the items separated. Watercolor palettes and chalk pastels are located closer to the spray booth, and pencils, erasers, color markers, and fine tip markers are located close to where you walk in. There are two pencil sharpeners in the room, try not to make a mess on the floor. We have drawing pencils and writing pencils. The drawing pencils are much more expensive, so only use these pencils for creating artwork. They also have a very different labeling system on them. The scale consists of a number and a letter, either a B or an H. The B stands for blackness and the H stands for hardness. If you're drawing sharp technical lines, you'll want to use the H pencil. H is the least hard graphite and 6H is the hardest. 6H is actually pretty hard to see because the graphite is so dense. If you're drawing to convey shading, then you're going to want to use something from the B series. The B pencil is the lightest in the series and the 6B is the darkest, the most black. If you're borrowing a pencil to write with, use the traditional yellow pencils that have that terrible eraser on them that just leaves a red smudge on the paper. I'd also like to stress to the point that all of the pencils in the art classroom belong to the art classroom, so please make sure you return them before you leave class. For the most part, just make sure you put the markers back from where you got them. Markers are an alcohol base, which means they'll dry out immediately if you don't put the lid back on securely. If a marker is completely dry, just throw it out. We have access to Indie Ink in the classroom, which is a permanent ink. It will stain and ruin your clothes, and it will also stain and ruin the clothes of the people around you if you're careless. Once it's down on paper, it's not going to go anywhere. With that said, this stuff is great. You can use it on a pen nib to achieve great detail. You can use a brush. You can mix it with water to achieve different values. You can layer these washes on top of each other. It goes great on top of other materials. Here's ink washes on top of marker, really changing the complexity of the marker color. Here it is on top of watercolor. You can also use it on top of chalk pastel. Once you're done, make sure that you close the lid tightly before placing it in the bin. We also have these great things called paint daubers. If you try to use them, don't squeeze too hard. The gravity will do all the work for them. We have access to a lot of other items in the art classroom, but I don't want to make you watch a lot of information on materials you're really not that interested in using. During the class, you'll have a number of self-directed projects of which you'll be allowed to choose any materials that you want. So if you want to use acrylic paint, watercolor, chalk pastels, go for it. You'll just have to watch a short video before you can use that item. This will show me that you know how to properly use and care for that material. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I look forward to seeing what the class produces over the course of the semester.